is Sherry with my girlfriend's quilt shop and today I'm going to show you the double fold bias binder. All right, let's take a look at how to set up our machine. We're going to set up for a chain stitch. So if we come down here to our machine, we're going to set up this first thread through the chain. Um, we will put our chain looper tension at about um, between a one and a two is kind of where I like it. This will be down in overlock. The stitch selector doesn't matter and this will be in neutral. Some important things though, is that you have your upper looper set for to, to down, from up to down. Knife will be locked. You change your length to about a three. Your width won't matter because you're not cutting it, thread it. We are going to be in the chain one position on our needle. We have our chain selected and we are at about a five on this one. We're going to set it up here on the table. So I'm going to line that up about where this is on that first needle mark. So prepare your binding by giving it just a little cut. You come up here and you will cut so that you have a little kind of point on there. You'll grab your tweezers, you'll be able to pull it through. When it gets down to here, it's curving it. You can just reach under there and you can still push that through a little bit. And then we'll put our fabric in and we are ready to go. Drop your foot. See right there that we have the front has got a stitch and on the back we have the chain stitch and this is a great application for things like a tree skirt or um, a round thing this is not going to be a great way to bind your quilt because you it's hard to get the mitered um, corners on there or it might be a good application for a bag where you're just adding a binding to a pocket or to the top of the bag. So I hope you guys enjoy making the double fold bias binding. Goodbye.